Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And this is basically my product review channel. I am a micro Amazon influencer and I do reviews for Amazon. I do reviews for this channel, other YouTube channels. And I provide links, affiliate links to the products where I possibly make a small commission. And this channel I'm trying to build up to monetize also. I'm at 600 subscribers. Thank you very much. And I also like to add some different videos other than product reviews. So I've been selling some extra product on Facebook Marketplace, and that's been a trip. I just started tinkering with that, and I'll do a video about that and how that's going. But since I'm on Facebook Marketplace, sometimes I see some listings that just interest me. Now, I saw this $5,000 for commercial space in New York City. So I had a commercial space for many years in New York City, which I closed down because the economy, the type of business changed and it just wasn't worth it any longer. And But I was always interested in looking around for spaces and wondering how people actually make it or they actually don't make it. This is an interesting space. Now, what would I do with this space? So you got Boost Mobile here. This is on Lexington Avenue, Upper New Manhattan. And it's a 200 square foot space. And maybe that is probably a little exaggerated with commercial real estate. So let's look at the listings. Snow brokers fee, okay. Uh, usually places run two months in advance. So you got to be slapping down $10,000 to get key and open up. And 200 square feet. Uh, you could use it for a showroom, studio, warehouse, <laughs> salon. What you gonna store in there? That's gonna work. Be worth five thousand a month. I don't know. Um, natural light, plenty of natural light through large windows. These are large windows, and central AC, which is this little tiny air conditioner up there. That is your central AC. Who knows what condition it is? Probably fifteen years old. And let's look at the vast um, catalog of photos they provide, which is these two lousy little photos. And this is it. Wow, they can't even throw a paint job. I mean, you're asking 5000 a month. Now, is that back room the toilet or the storage room or what? We don't know. We don't know. That's all you got. So... Even if you had a hair salon, I mean, how many hairdos and probably some nail chairs you got to do to just cover 5000 a month? That's not including the electricity to run that massive central air system, the lights. It's not including the garbage, a commercial garbage fee. It could be 7500 25 a month, depending. And there's commercial rent tax in New York city which i never paid but people out there have to pay and what about the water bill you know unless it's included in the rent which i probably doubt so what kind of business will work here let's go on lexington avenue and see where this shop really is oh they also boasted street parking yay street parking in manhattan yeah right so if you do happen to find a spot, it's metered. So here's the meter over here, parking meter. So you gotta pay to park here and it could be pretty pricey. And, but that don't show that the cars keep moving, but you can't park there long, so whatever. So at Boost Mobile, here they're still there. And you got the little sign up, the little tent, which I don't know how that draws at anybody. And it looks like they couldn't hack it. So that 
that would be the business I think that would work there unless it was poorly managed or they retired. Pawn shop, the area, eh, maybe. Uh, juice bar, I don't know about that. You know, how many juices, at what price you got to sell to make up the rent. Uh, across the street, pharmacy, pizza, bakery, you know, there's probably been there for many years. I tell you what's been there for many years, this travel agency, wow. So, travel agencies are like dinosaurs. I mean, it used to be a big thing back in the day, not anymore. Wow, this guy must own this building, Easy Pawn Court Building, whew. So, this guy probably had this for many years, did so well, he bought the building. And, and he even was so proud of it, he put this up there and named it. And I like the way the cable companies run the wires, you know. Let's just throw them down the side of the building and, and that's that. So, yeah. So, another thing I want to point out. Um, <laughs> look at what New York City decides to do. They decide to put benches, I guess, that you're not allowed to sit on. And they try to make it uncomfortable. So over here, no sitting permitted. So why put it there? You know, unless these are grates to ventilate the subway underneath. I don't know the purpose of this, but yet you see people sitting and they probably can't sit there long because it's probably uncomfortable. Um, so they put benches so that you don't sit or lay down on. And that's why they're shaped like this weird. I don't know. I don't know why. But that's New York for you. Why do they think? At least there's not a, a bus on a bike lane on this road. So that's that's puzzling. I don't know. And that's probably why I don't, I'm not rich. Because I can't understand what business would go there. And here's your little garbage tag that they have. That if you don't have a commercial garbage tag, you get a fine. Like in New York City. You get fined for everything. And and this is a thing. See all these stickers here? These are um, gate companies. The metal gate companies that you pull, pull down. They all advertise all the time. Because when your gate gets stuck or can't go up. You're calling them. And they come 24 hours in a van. Charge your arm and a leg. So that your gate could go up and down. I had electric gates that I was responsible for in my store. And they gave problems. And it cost me money. So every time I went to the office. I put that key to lift that electric gate. And it was like a crap shoot. It was when it went up. I was like okay. The day started um, without a problem so far, <laughs> and then the rest of the gate continued. I remember when it couldn't go down, I stayed there super late till I finally got a guy to come, and, and we had to take it off the rail, the chain, and let it down, and, and it was open for anybody who was willing to lift 300 pounds, so, that's my little visit to Facebook Marketplace for commercial space. If you got any idea what could make it in New York City for a little space like that, other than a weed spot, and probably a drug dealer would be like 5000 a month is too much because I'm in the drug game to make money, not, not support a landlord. All right, thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe. I'm trying to build up this channel. Come with me on this journey. We'll do some more videos. Thanks.